Well, hi, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about cheap Amazon and eBay radiators. So stick on in there, watch all the way to the end. We got some interesting content to lay out. Today we're going to be talking about aluminum radiators from Blytech, which is the manufacturer and the distributor is AU Auto Parts. What does a radiator do? And I'm not going to bore everybody with a big long half an hour of what does a radiator do, but it cools water. Now the concept is nothing more than you have a water pump that is on your engine whether it's mechanical, belt driven, electric nowadays. And the belt spins a fan, cools down the radiator, and as you can see on the back here, that forces the water through the motor, through the radiator, the fan cools it and passes it back through the uh, motor and keeps you from having little bits and pieces come flying out of your block from overheating. The different types of radiators that are out there are the most popular one, which you'll see this in most vehicles nowadays because they are cheap, is an aluminum core with plastic tanks up on top in the bottom. And they're cheap to manufacture, but they have their drawbacks because over time, the plastic wears, it also degrades, and the little sealer that they put in here to keep the water from spewing on out, it fails, and she's gonna leak either up on top or on the bottom seal, or the plastic itself is just gonna crack. It's just inevitable because uh, they just don't wanna build anything of any quality anymore. They just want cheap, so you can keep on going out and buying and buying and buying and buying. In the 60s and 70s, they had copper brass radiators, and for their time, that technology was great. The downfall was is that the cores would just eventually break down. The copper and brass would start leaking up on top because they would use solder or a sealer, and that's where the advent of the plastic aluminum radiator came from. Now, if you want to jump up to performance or a radiator that should literally last forever, you're gonna go with an all aluminum radiator. Why? Because it's welded all the way around. There's nothing that is gonna fail. <laughs> but if you get it from Blytech, guess what? This is number two. This is a second radiator. The first one was purchased in 2019, late 2019. And the first one failed in mid 2020. Now, contacted AU Auto Parts. AU Auto Parts said, hey, send us a picture. I removed the radiator from the truck and took pictures of it. Matter of fact, it was leaking so bad that you didn't even need to have any pressure on it. You could just actually pour the radiator fluid in and she would come right out through the bottom right here. So without any question, they sent me a second one and they didn't want the first one back. It was just too costly in shipping and I would uh, myself agree with that. So here's the second one, number two, and of course, we made her to February of 2021, and guess what? Started leaking again. So the leak happened almost in the same area. I went through uh, because I didn't have an extra radiator in stock, and I took some flux core radiator sealer, and I went ahead and sealed it on up. Well, if three days later, it didn't start leaking from right here. 
So clearly, Blytech has a huge, huge quality problem and they could care less about you after their one year warranty, even though they're building garbage. Now this is something that should last the rest of the lifetime of my truck, the lifetime of the next truck. It, it should just last. So I contacted AU Auto Parts and they said that, well, we don't carry those radiators anymore. I wonder why. And tried contacting Blytech through several emails, and Blytech, of course, won't return an email. They're not even in this country. They know what they're doing. They know their failure rate, and all they want is your money, and they would just want to take off and run with it. Now, the cost of this was $235 shipped to my door and you're thinking you know geez uh, i don't know the cost of a radiator well that's cheap the replacement that replaced this was a mishimoto and that was over six hundred dollars six hundred two hundred thirty five you know there's a quality difference there you pay for what you get i got burnt i'm trying to help you not get burnt the other situation is very piss poor manufacturing. The mounts, both on the top and the bottom, well, I don't know what they were using for a jig, but she's off by three quarters of an inch. So I had to do some modifying when the first radiator went in from Blytech. Then we found out that the connections for the transmission, while well, they don't fit an automatic transmission and they don't fit a manual transmission, um, I don't know what transmission they're supposed to fit. Now I know you can go out, get different adapter fittings, but when I'm told that this is supposed to fit a 1999.5 to 2003 F350, that's what I expect. Call me silly. And the other issues, the connectors for the fan shroud well they're off two by half inch so th that had to be modified and going down the road you'll hear a clackety 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 clack and why do you hear a clackety clack the bottom connectors that the fan shroud sits in is so large that the fan shroud just bounces back and forth all over the place so very piss poorly made very disappointing if you're gonna put a product out there at least put some pride behind it and Blytech certainly doesn't do that AU Auto Parts they won't stand behind anything beyond their one-year warranty even though the part broke within the first year and the second part broke within the same period of time so they probably got burnt from Blytech themselves and they're so scalded that they don't even want to mess with anything from them or probably anybody else. Uh, can't even find AU Auto Parts uh, anywhere besides on Amazon and that's where this was bought here and it's not Amazon's fault. Um, if I would have bought it from eBay, it was not eBay's fault. So the biggest thing that I see on videos when they do their reviews is they immediately point out that you know ooh, this came from Amazon ooh, this came from eBay well both of them have their own policies return policies they help you out uh, but they do follow certain guidelines I mean the, it, it's got to stop somewhere so it, it's once again not eBay's fault it's not Amazon's fault I know I bought this from Amazon but it's not their fault. They are just providers of a service. You shouldn't blame them. You can go to them within the period of time. They'll help you out. This is outside the period of time, but that's why we're here today. We're here today because you need to know that Blytech and AU Auto Parts is where this came from and the quality is absolutely awful and AU Auto Parts clearly doesn't stand behind anything uh, beyond their warranty and, and that's fine. I run my business differently. Um, Blytech, once again, you 
can't get anything out of them because they don't care. You know, they're they're over in China. They got little China or Japan people or little Malaysians wrapping these things out as fast as they can. You know, probably at you know three bucks an hour. But anyways. Uh, Unlike other videos, we're not going to start this on fire, or drive across it, or crush it, or whatever silly things, and I'm sure that that sells, but we're not going to do that. But she is going to go on the wall of shame, and in future videos, you will see it on the wall of shame uh, for the world to remember that Blytech sells junk. So if I haven't uh, gotten that point across, hang on to the end of the video. Uh, we always have uh, end trailers uh, and enjoy. Uh, if you like what you see, we uh, would like you to hit the like button. Put a comment in. Tell me how you like this. Tell me about me. Anything negative, anything good, let me know. But either which way, we'll see you in the next video. The next video coming up is going to be a long video about auto wrap and auto wrap that uh, is called easy auto wrap well there wasn't anything easy about it but you'll find out there until then you have a good day oh you're still here yet don't worry about it hit the subscribe button Go ahead and hit the little bell, and that'll let you know when our next video comes up. Just go home then. <laughs>